So there's one question I have to ask right now. What the heck is going on with Titanfall 2? I've been seeing it a lot in my feeds online. People were excited about what's going on with the game. I'm like, why are people excited about playing Titanfall all of a sudden? And the game has been basically dead for years, but not anymore because people are back and they're playing a lot of Titanfall. In fact, so much that there's like a 200% increase in the player count on PC alone. Oh no! Well, the big reason behind that is because, well, the game finally got an update, which is like, okay, yeah, the game games get updated all the time why is this one all different than anything else because this update actually made the game playable at least for pc players because for the longest time you haven't been able to play titanfall because the servers were just completely broken matchmaking didn't work it was, it was a mess it was a total mess well now respawn has gone in and actually updated the game and now everything just works as it's supposed to and the children always yearn for more titanfall but not only that the game actually got some new updates with like new playlists things you can do within the game and stuff it's like why all of a sudden? Oh my god, I literally just got hologram like it's a Halo Reach. Oh, get wrecked. That guy was coming in hot. But recently, in the Apex Legends patch notes, surprisingly, they referenced Titanfall 2 and 1 and also Apex Legends because with some secret code that they put within the, the patch notes, they put in this code and if you looked it up, it actually references the launch dates of Titanfall 1, Titanfall 2, and, well, Apex Legends as well. But also within Titanfall 2, they put these little plushies in here for like little Easter eggs you can find within the world. I think it's on the Pacific map and I don't think it's on this one. Hey, we got a kill. But yeah, here's a video about it if you guys are curious what it's all about. And with this recent update, the Apex Legends patch notes, it's really made people think like, what's going on with this game? And get interested in it and start playing it again. And then it's seen a huge increase. And now on top of that, the game is also on a huge discount on Steam and on Xbox. So basically Titanfall 2 is up and running and alive again. More people are playing this game actually than Halo Infinite, which is kind of crazy. Oh, the slide. Double kill. Woo, baby. Oh my god, another one, baby. Let's go. Oh gosh, there's a Titan looking right at me. I don't like this one bit. Oh, get out, get out, get out. No! But if you guys haven't played Titanfall 2, like if you don't care for the multiplayer at all, at least play for the campaign, because the campaign for Titanfall 2 is actually incredible. There's one mission in particular, cause and effect, that just is a masterpiece in first person shooter campaign missions. Another kill, let's go. And my Titan's up and ready, let's go. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. But no, 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 I like this, oh! Which I like the campaign for Titanfall 2 so much that honestly, if they just made like a campaign only Titanfall, I would absolutely be down for that and play it as much as I could. But there's always this one narrative when it comes to Titanfall that I don't think this game or franchise will ever be able to escape. It would definitely be the, the launch window of this game. I think it was a little unfair to this game because I believe it launched between Call of Duty and battlefield it's like ea literally just kind of shot themselves in the foot when it came to the success of this game and i am completely pinched between a rock and a hard place at, and that rock being another titan punch him do something no <laughs> Oh, that was brutal. But because of that launch window, it really just hurt the success of the game and really just made it so that EA was just like, you know what, it's not worth it to work on this game anymore. Luckily for Respawn that they were able to have huge success with Apex Legends and basically they were like, okay, well, we're gonna be focusing on that because people love it and we've been making a ton of money on it. But one thing I think of reason why people don't really like this game so much is because of this right here. Look at how many Titans are on the field right now. I have to compete against this. This is insane. Saying, what am I supposed to do? The respawn did actually remedy that problem a little bit with the pilot v pilot mode, which a lot of people really enjoyed. Oh god, I launched my Titan all the way out there. Oh, please don't get me killed doing this. Why is it all the way over here? Oh my gosh, let me in. <laughs> But yeah, I never really got too much into the multiplayer of Titanfall 2, mainly just because it was just like a whole new type of learning curve that honestly, I just wasn't really down to try to put the time in to learn and get. It was so complex. There were so many different things that I just was not familiar with. And the movement, while incredibly fun, it's just a, such a huge learning curve that I was like, man, I'm just not, I know I'm not gonna put the time into this game to be able to fully understand it to get good at it. It's kind of the same reason why I don't play games like Counter-Strike and stuff because, well, it's just a whole nother beast. But I know that if you take the time to learn this game you get down the mechanics you probably love titanfall which i do believe that titanfall and titanfall 2 really kind of spawn this whole new like movement generation when it comes to shooters and we saw it kind of get involved with like a call of duty it got into that game franchise 
They also got into even Halo with like Halo 5 and stuff like that. Oh my God, we lost 49 to 50, but there's still a chance to get onto the ship. This is always a little kind of a fun part about attrition. I'd like give this one section where like last run to get to the ship. I think you get like some more XP or something like that. Now this world is incredible. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Let's get to the Z-Vac ship. Let's get out of here. We are leaving. There we go. Yeah, Timefall 2. It's up. It's alive. It's kicking. Take this opportunity to give yourself a chance to play the multiplayer while it's still popular and people are excited about the franchise again. And if anything crazy, I'll keep you guys up to date here on the channel.